Hello! Everybody, welcome to the Bad Reading Podcast, the fi- podcast with bad fan fiction and good times. My name is Atlas Novak. I'm Nick Kane. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. Dan Grove. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? How you doing? Pretty good, you? Yeah, feeling great, man. Hey, you know, Nick, by the way, you killed it last night at the, the store. Good shit. Yeah, oh, um, thanks, man. VOR. We're recording yeah. this uh, the night after a very successful outing by Mr. Kane at the comedy store. Yeah. Thank so. you. I want to thank uh, I want to thank my mother for not believing in me, and I want to thank my father for always shoving me in my closet and uh, forcing me to do impressions and having a weird obsession with cardinals. Hey, yes. man, at least hey, at least your father was uh, at least trying to get you into the entertainment industry. Man, it was like at least propelling you forward. This was just the abuse. He was trying to get the abuse out of the way early on. That way yeah. you could be successful and like not let anything bog you down. Oh yeah, no, like, I, I didn't get that conditioning. Girl. Like the closest I got was my older brother would be like, "You're not funny. Why are you doing that?" Stop. <laughs> the, he he would heckle me at any moment I tried to do any sort of voice, be like, "Hey Brian, you want to hear by Peter Griffin?" Oh yeah, what's going on here, guys? <laughs> and my brother, like, that's not Seth MacFarlane. Stop. Like stop <laughs> right now. Dude. It, like he he supports me nowadays, but Ugh. now like it's his daughter that does it. So, like, whenever, like, I st- and, like, she's, like, six years old. So, whenever I start breaking out and trying to do, like, a comedic bit, like, I'll, I randomly did, like, a bizarre Italian song. I made some party. I made some money. <laughs> and, like, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, like, they're all losing their minds, laughing off their asses. But then my six-year-old niece just goes, I don't like that. <laughs> Stop. Your six-year-old niece sounds like my school principal growing up. I do not <laughs> approve of this behavior. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mr. Mashad. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, way to bring a Bia Downer on the first episode of the podcast. I mean, okay, she's so- dead. <laughs> is, this, is this the part where we just go around in the circle and just start saying our condolences to major people in our lives? Sure. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, right. what, that's the format of this podcast. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Right. Yes, that's exactly yeah, what yeah. we're trying to well, do. So, aside from the yeah. me derailing yeah. you, Atlas, <laughs> would you like to tell the people about this? <laughs> How about this? Dan, <laughs> why don't you baby. tell us, what are you a fan of? What is something you're super into? One of my all-time favorite shows is none other than Seinfeld on NBC. Yes. I absolutely adore the show. I grew up with it all the time, man. Like, that was that was our show in our house. You know, we didn't have friends. We didn't... My dad... My parents didn't believe in friends. <laughs> Fuck They're friends. Like, yeah. They're I know he's like, talking well, about the show. We, we need to prioritize family more than friends right now, so therefore watch Seinfeld, because they're more of a family in a weird, twisted, sick sort of way. And they're a, all family. In a soup Nazi napping under the desk sort of way. Yeah. yeah. Like, my dad, like, he would walk around the house growing up with, like, the Kramer print shirt on. Nice. Like, straight up. It was amazing. Um, no, but I always love the show. I always my, one of my favorite episodes will always be the Frogger, where George is trying to yeah. transport there at the very end. <laughs> Game over, man. Game yeah. over. <laughs> nice. My favorite episode, I think, it will always be the contest. Uh, just because, like, I first heard about it I, sadly from Family Guy, where they're it's a it's like a one off joke. <laughs> I'm like eight years old or something. And I'm like, what is Seinfeld? I know what you're talking about. I'm yeah. out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, do, they do that on Always Sunny too. What? Like, just the, they, they, they do the they do that scene where it's just like yeah. I'm out. That's, yeah, yeah. Where <laughs> it's like Charlie's playing Kramer, and then yeah. both Mac and Dennis are playing uh, are playing Jerry. Of course, Frank is playing George because yeah. weirdly enough, thirty two year old Jason Alexander looks a lot like like sixty five year old Danny, Danny DeVito. DeVito. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Um, my favorite thing about the contest was I saw a gif of it right after Theresa May decided to resign as Prime Minister of Brexit. And she, the, the, well, what, what the, Seinfeld what, episode was this? Hang on. <laughs> so the, they superimposed Theresa May's face onto Kramer, and the other three characters are like Trump and you know Macron and Justin Trudeau, and it's her going and going, I'm out. <laughs> 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 I'm out of the bright set, you know. <laughs> wow, oh. that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, no, um, it's, you didn't ask me what my favorite episode of yeah, come on, favorite, was. Hang on. Way to exclude yeah. one of your co-hosts <laughs> yes. from telling one of their favorite. <sighs> no, hey, I'm out of this pot. I'm done. The, 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 Alex, it's Alex, our first episode. This is the this is like the part of the Full House episode where, where Mary Kate and Ashley shit themselves and they're trying to wash her with the with the sink. No. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was an episode? That's the first episode of Full House. Was this yeah. before or after Bob Saget became Daddy Tanner? Uh, I think before, because they used like, a different guy for the pilot. Or yeah, something. yeah, they yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. Dude, have you seen that intro for that, by yes. the way? It's nuts. Yeah. It's, you see <laughs> all of these main people, and like, oh my god, it's uh, John Stamos and Dave Couillet, and who is... 
Yeah. Who is the? Where's Bob? Does Saget? he does he do the same actions where he's like cleaning the tar and he yeah. just kind of smiles at you? That's so weird. They're, literally, yeah. they just basically just take the shots of where the old guy was and throw Bob Saget in there. Oh wow. Yeah. Bob Saget, the body snatcher. What I'm is so- your favorite episode of Seinfeld? Do you yeah. remember the chicken sign? That's probably my. Oh favorite. my god, where where Jerry has becomes Kramer. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. They switch apartments <laughs> and just that scene where um like Kramer is like he's dealing with the the red sign. He's like Jerry's like. Well, what are you doing here? And then Kramer's like, oh, 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 yeah, the red. <laughs> that, that's a chicken roaster sign. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he opens the door and, like, the red line, the red light is so powerful <laughs> that it actually is, like, it's hitting him. So it's, like, uh, the, you can't see this on the podcast, but it's, like, he, like, leans his arch back like he's being hit by a wave, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's and, then, fi- and then and then, and like, then Jerry and Kramer switch apartments and be like, look, Kramer, Kramer, if you just want to switch apartments for one night, I totally understand. <laughs> I don't know why I made him sound Jerry sound like weirdly like a Bill Burr Bostonian thing, but eh, whatever. Yeah. New, New England are in the house. What yeah. a, what's it's a up? creative format here. Yeah. We're not we're not saying no. <laughs> but then Jerry starts immediately mimicking Kramer's mannerisms because <laughs> yeah. of the Ke- oh, is it the Kenny Rogers roasters light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> And then, like, and then uh, Kramer has a reason to stay in the apartment because the Kenny's chicken roast is like really good, and uh, so you know, like, like Newman, like that one scene where Jerry catches Newman eating there, he goes, "Oh, really? Like, you're getting broccoli with that, Newman? Yes, I got broccoli. <laughs> it's good for you." And then, and then Jerry goes, "Oh, then maybe you'd like to have a piece." Gladly. And then he eats it and he goes, <laughs> Vile weed! <laughs> <laughs> and then they, and Jerry finds out. But then, um, uh, uh, just that scene. And then at the end, like, you know, Kramer's protesting the sign. And then at the end, he wants Kenny to come back because they shut down. And he's like, Kenny? Kenny? <laughs> Kenny? They killed Kenny. <laughs> That's uh, my favorite episode. So... What we're going to do is we found, we know we all love Seinfeld, but we found the shittiest fan fiction we could think of, and we're going to read it to you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Dan Crow. Like, Loki, I'm, yeah. I, I've actually been stoked about the, the entire week. I, I, thought about, I thought about scouring the DeviantArt sources right. on, online, because I was like, oh man, i got to see what potentially they could look up so I could prepare some material. I'm like, no. Yeah. I gotta make this as organic as possible. So Nick and I are gonna take turns reading this, and feel free to jump in with your own critiques or jokes or whatever. Uh, we'll also be putting the link to uh, this fan fiction in the description. A to give the artist credit because they worked hard on this, goddamn it, and B because we don't want to get sued for you know copyright infringement. So the title <laughs> of this Seinfeld fan fiction is called "Kiss Me, Kiss Me" by Tobe A. Skeleton. And this, uh, there's a little summary at the top. Tobe it's, a it's skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. I, I think it's to be a skeleton, but Tobe a skeleton, I think, is... Yeah, the, the name is yeah. probably taken. Yeah. Oh, yeah the name man. Is probably taken. You know, I was thinking most places would be like, hey, look, I want to make my pen name as most obnoxious as possible. I want to make it as spooky and creepy as possible as I'm talking about Jerry just licking the side of George's head in the most erotic way possible. What can I do here? <laughs> That's what a real magic creepy? loogie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what can I do to get just enhance the spookiness fact? To be a skeleton? No, 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 man. Tobey a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is it it's spelled it's is, is it's it spelled just, B-A-Y, like Michael Bay, or is no, it B A E? T O B E A skeleton. Oh. Okay, it's just okay. to be a skeleton with no spaces, so Toba Skeleton. Okay. Uh Toby Skeleton. Ah. And then there's a little summary at the top. When Elaine is dating a woman, Jerry and George decide to analyze their own sexualities. <laughs> <laughs> that is a <laughs> Weirdly enough, I can see that being a legitimate logline for a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole subreddit for that. It's just called r slash reddit write Seinfeld, and people like put up premises. Huh. Now, normally, when th- they'll go a little longer, and I don't think Jerry and George have ever analyzed anything. They just argue about stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's usually every episode, isn't it? Yeah. Where it just about well, the, you know what it is. They start dissecting into something, and then they break into the argument. You yeah, know? it's like, for example, the episode where with the agreement, right? Yeah, like Jerry is talking to George about wanting to sleep with Elaine and trying to enjoy their time together, and he's explaining the whole process to them, and like George is breaking it down bit by bit, but George is challenging Jerry by dissecting into the process. So in a way, it's it is, you know. What's the word I'm looking for here? Analysis. It is an an analytical discussion, but 
it's just consistent butting heads between the two because their viewpoints are so radically different. It's like, no, no, I can make this work. I can make this work. Jerry, you can't share people. You can't fuck people, Jerry. It's not good. You can't fuck friends. You don't do it. I mean, you can't, like, obviously it's not truly saying fuck, but, like, you can't combine this, that, and the other. It doesn't work. You know? It's about the worlds, right? It's you about can't the combine worlds. two worlds? Yes. You can't have your cake and eat it too. A George a divided against itself cannot stand! <laughs> George is getting upset. George is getting upset! Okay, wait. Are we are we supposed to read a fan fiction? Like, what, yeah. what's going <laughs> what, We're going to do... Okay. I'm going to interject right. way too okay. often. Yeah, I this apologize. is going to be great. Like, I, I have ADD. It's All right. Man. So here we That's go. That's fine. It's perfect for this podcast. On one rainy Tuesday in New York, Jerry Seinfeld was relaxing, watching the Mets game, when Elaine waltzed into his apartment with no warning. As usual. Seriously, what if he was actually busy or something for once? Of course, he never was. But there was also a situation where he, hypothetically, was interrupted from doing something important. But nothing was more world-changing than what Elaine was about to say. Jerry, I think I'm a lesbian, Elaine said. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we're getting right into the progressiveness right here. Okay. He, He looked up at her, his eyes comically wide. Yeah? He asked in disbelief. Yeah, she answered calmly. Yeah? He asked again. (laughs) Well, you know, not really! Elaine crossed her arms. Do you have a problem with this? No, Jerry said. Of course not. I just... How do you know? Well, I started dating a woman. Huh, Jerry said. Elaine sat across from him but failed to elaborate. And? And, well, I like her more than any other man I've been with. Even in the, Jerry began raising his eyebrow, you know, (laughs) especially there, (laughs) Elaine said pointedly. I think I've always kind of known. Wait, 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 wait. Elaine Elaine likes women more than she loved David Putty? That, to me, is is insane. Who would love... Nobody, David Putty David yeah. Putty is the greatest character on that show, oh, all yeah. right? Yeah. You know, he doesn't give a shit, man. He just lives his life every single day. Yeah, he's a bit of a bum and a bit of a lazy lo- loaf, but like, look... Hey, I he's rather, employed. Yeah, he's employed. He has a job, yeah. you know? Sometimes you just gotta settle on these things. You can't just go and experiment, you know? You can't just, like, as you're in your mid-late 30s, be like, actually, I think now is the time for me to... Re-. No, this is something you realize in your life, like, immediately early on. You know? Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, know. also, he's Patrick Warburton, and who doesn't love Patrick he Warburton? Is, yes, he yeah. is Joe Swanson. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Yeah. He, he, he is Kronk from that's the Emperor's New Group. That yeah, that was, that was yeah. pretty good. Or, uh, what's his name, Brock from the Venture Brothers? <laughs> yeah, Brock from the Venture Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. I mean, beyond the initial shock, I kind of get it, Jerry said. I mean, there's, uh, what? Sorry for interrupting. No, uh, there is this guy, his name is uh, Brock. Um, I, I really apologize if I get this na- guy's name wrong. Um, Brock Turner, the rapist? No, not Brock Turner, the rapist. Um, a different Brock Turner I worked with. Again, if I'm going to correct this in post. If There's I get a it wrong. different Brock Turner? Yeah, the, he's, uh, he's a guy I worked with uh, in voice acting who does a perfect Patrick Warburton. It's scary. Like I, I'll show you guys the video afterwards, but it's like it's scary good. Like he he dubs over uh, Attack on Titan, oh. like with Patrick Warburton's voice. Love with, it! Oh my it's God. fucking it's amazing. Love yeah, every sorry. part of it. No, Keep going with the story. It's fine. Uh, I kind of get it. Jerry said. I mean, I always knew we got along well. We have a lot of co- in common. I just didn't think women were one of the those things. And now it's Nick's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're just gonna, are you going to be just exchanging the? MacBook between each other in between each paragraph like well, it's a high school reading class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like, you don't remember like... popcorn reading? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Now, Atlas, read the first paragraph. Yeah. Nicholas, you'll yeah. read the second, Dan. You'll yeah. read the rest of the passage. No, no. Okay, do you remember in high, like you would start counting because it would just go around the room in order? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, one, yeah, two, yeah. one, two, two, one, two. two. Yeah, that that's, that's how you alternated? <laughs> yeah, so you start going around the room and you're like, fuck this. The kid who can't read for shit is, is on the <laughs> longest paragraph. Yeah, that's how it always turned yeah. out. And the thing I loved reading a lot of class because yeah. you know I anytime I'm near a microphone I'm just like I want to say all the things but because but then it, I never got that I always got like the one sentence paragraph yeah. being like and so she did it and yeah. that's all I got but then you get to the kid with, and, and 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 he he licked licked the toe <laughs> to to and, to, and, to, and, to, to to try and and can <laughs> it's convert Jimmy come on <laughs> <laughs> okay uh. It's con- <laughs> <laughs> That night, Jerry worked the interaction into his comedy routine, using humor to cope with life's peculiarities. As, as you do. Usual. As you do. As you do. I, yeah. Atlas, I'm reading this. Fuck Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 
This is this goes where it goes, doesn't it? No. All right. Okay. You know, I don't know what upsets guys so much about the idea of women loving other women. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen women? The audience laughs. And have you ever seen us? He says. Wait, 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 wait. He's wait, doing wait, the wait, one's wait, voice wait, for Oh, no, wait, is no, that Jerry? No. Oh, shit, this is Jerry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This guy wrote into his fan fiction the audience <laughs> response. <laughs> the, uh, he, his, his fanfic has a laugh track to this? Yes. Are you dead serious? Yes. Wow. That. I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not sure whether to be proud of this man's attention to detail. That's the power of imagination. Or it... Nick, continue reading. Just continue, <laughs> reading. Just continue reading. I don't even know where I am anymore. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, I was supposed to read that as Jerry, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This we're doing Jerry. the lady's okay, voice have... for Jerry. Oh, I thought that was okay. I'm gonna do that again, but Jerry's voice. Okay. okay. That night, Jerry worked the interaction into his comedy routine, using humor to cope with life's peculiarities, as per usual. Dude, I'm an idiot. Why did I not realize that was Jerry saying that? It said it in the goddamn <laughs> sentence. Okay, okay. You know, I don't. No one upsets guys so much about the idea of women loving other women. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen women? The audience laughs. And have you ever seen us? He says, stressing his own masculinity. The truth was, Jerry found the female form just objectively better. In an artistic sense. Objectively? objectively better? Yes, objectively better. I mean, sure. Uh, I'm I'm a very hairy man. I can kind of see where it... Like, it just... The don't, amount of money I've spent on women's razors that just... Don't kink shame, man. No, hey, no, like no I'm, I'm actually with you, man. Certain yeah. women's products are actually ridiculous. I don't Have get, you ever tried women's deodorant? Yes. Yeah, it, 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 you so <laughs> so good! You so good! <laughs> have you ever tried women's CIVU? <laughs> yeah, well, yes, out of the fact that I didn't have any. Uh, so My my well, sweat glands fighting against was, women's deodorant is like farting into a Glade plug-in. It just will not win that fight. Literally, one day, my, back when I was dating uh, an, an ex, she spent the night at my place. I realized, oh shit, I don't have any deodorant for the next day. How am I going to go out into public without smelling like absolute pickled onions and ass? And then, of course, I just see on there, it's like the, the female equivalent to Old Spice. I don't know the brand name off the top of my head. I'm like, I guess I'll just, you know, just... New cumin. Uh, just throw it yeah. under my under my armpit. And He's just... pantomiming putting on deodorant. I wish you could see uh, this. It would be great. <laughs> this I, I is wish. so erotic. <laughs> and just, just gently caress the tube up and down my pits. And, uh, you know, I smelled incredible. It, it was... You know how Febreze gives the illusion that it makes everything smell better, but it just makes things smell 10,000 times worse. It just combines the odors together. Yeah. Just, Women's deodorant, it actually does what Febreze fails to do. You smell so good. Yeah. You don't need cologne. Just to, wait, hang on. So does your BO have like a distinct smell to it? It's just generic. It usually just smells like sweaty socks. And no. My, mine is like shawarma, I've noticed. Like, like, like a shawarma. Wait, 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 wait. The... Not in a good way, but... What the hell is happening right now? We're talking about what our beer smells like. Shawarma. Like shwarma. the the, uh, the Mediterranean sandwich food that all mm. the Avengers eat at the end of oh, yeah. the initial yes. movie. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the meat part of that. That's what See, that's a meat. That's like. I, I want to smell your pits right now. No, no, no. Dude, that smells great. Are no, you kidding me? Okay. The, but I'm saying in a bad way. Like it, like at the end of the day where there, like not all the good meat is left. That kind of thing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Like you said, okay. pickled onions and ass. It's okay. like that. It's shawarma. Okay. And ass. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ju- it's just the brine. Yeah. It's like it's like the wet brine. The hot dog water. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, ew. Okay, yeah. Nick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Fu- I'm, I'm okay. Um, let's see here. Um, the truth was, Jerry found the female form just objectively better in an artistic sense. It doesn't mean he had never considered what it would be like to be with a man, but that was another story. Maybe he was blind to a certain nuance of sexuality that had nothing to do with objective beauty but some other form of wanting. Has Seinfeld ever used the word nuance non-ironically before? Um, <laughs> well, Dan, you're the Seinfeld expert, has he? I have never heard that term be used in a unironic That's manner. not That's not a word it's, you use in a stand-up no. room. That's like nuance. Like, oh, yes, it's a very nuanced phrasing, I'd like to that's think. No, it, <laughs> it's something you'd hear at like a coffee shop open mic more yeah. than anything else. You know, it's something that... Fuck like, on it's, that guy. That's a yes. great way of saying fuck you. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's saying, hey, I'm going to use this big fancy word, nuanced, 
And you guys are going to have to go on your phones, look it up afterwards, and then try and dissect my act from there if you can retain that photographic memory as I'm just going into bit by bit by bit. It's like an insult to the audience's intelligence in hey, a way. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I'm I'm I love sorry, using I'm big sorry. words. I love using big words. Me too. But it, there does come a point where, like, you're, if you're going to say a big word, you have to at least... It's a very punchable word. It has to be punchable, yeah. and it has to... You have to say it in a way where you don't look like an asshole as you're saying it. Yeah. You know, it's just like, oh, yeah, it's a very nuanced way of doing shit. You can't just be like, yeah. mm, yes, it was a very nuanced way of approaching things. Who the hell mm. says it like that in a, in, a, in a mic, though? It's a very nuanced way of saying it. Maybe, like, maybe, 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 maybe like a poetry. Maybe I, yes, yeah, well, yeah, it's like mostly, right. it's like the it's like the mixed poetry mics. You yeah. know, it's like the poetry mics and then some stand-ups go up on stage. I want to see this act. Th those are always it. a crapshoot, though, those oh, mixed mics. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait, I want to get to this part because it's getting good. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, I feel like we're just constantly hitting the pause button on like okay. a Hulu it's fine. episode. It's fine. Um, after his routine, Jerry went to Monks with his good buddy George Costanza. The strange Dude, is and the, is the last name really necessary? Can you stop pressing the? <laughs> I'm just kidding. okay. After his routine, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What were we gonna say? <laughs> no, I, I, that's literally all I was gonna say. It was like, is the last name really necessary? I like no, how he said it. Yeah, I like how every fan fiction is simultaneously trying to cater to hardcore fans while also assuming they've never seen an episode in their life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know they're mansplaining who George is to somebody who goes, you know, I love Seinfeld so much, <laughs> I'm starved for Seinfeld content. I'm going to go find it on the internet on my own volition. I, I will say, I feel so bad. I feel like every time we're interrupting Nick, it's like we're just taking the little <laughs> bit of stutter I'm not upset. Out it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Your, to to your tonality says yeah. otherwise, man. Oh, I, yeah, no, it's not. It's not. I don't. I don't think it's that funny. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Continue. Just, continue. Sorry. Continue. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Actually, before you continue, how long? <laughs> god damn it, Dan! You're lie. interrupting yourself, even. No, yeah. I'm interrupting myself because, like, I, I want to make sure that we're like we're not here for like five hours. How long is this whole? It's thing? supposed to be just an hour. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not talking about the actual, I'm not there. talking about the time frame, I'm talking about how long is this actual story. Like, oh. we're talking, like, seven pages? No, no, it's, uh... No, it's, it's pretty, yeah. It's about, like, four. Four pages. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, I'll keep yeah. interrupting them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, fuck, I did, dude, I'm fucking just being an asshole. Um, okay, uh, George Cassandra, the strange and neurotic man ranting about one thing or another when Jerry dropped the news. So Elaine is dating a woman, Jerry said calmly. Elaine is dating a woman? George asked. Elaine is dating a woman. Interesting, George said. He was taking the news with a lot less shock than Jerry anticipated. Well, why aren't you surprised? To be honest, I sort of saw a little bit before. But I mean, I think that about everyone, George muttered. You think everyone is a lesbian, Jerry asked. Well, all my exes seem to be, George said. He began to vigorously sip his... Charmanile tea. C chamomile. 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 <laughs> Nick! <laughs> I can't read. Tob chamomile. Tob uh, Tob actually, actually, no, no, no. no. Tobe skeleton. Just. To yeah, Tobe skeleton. Tobe yeah. skeleton. Tobe yeah. skeleton. Tob yeah. skeleton. I don't know. Chaman I, I, chamomile. Uh, chamomile. Chamomile tea. Ch chamomile tea. <laughs> okay. Uh. George, why didn't you tell me? I mean, I couldn't know for sure. Who knows if anyone can know for sure? George said with a sigh. What do you mean no one can know for sure? I mean, isn't everyone a little bit unsure? Like, you have to be, George shrugged. So you're saying you're unsure, Jerry said. George glared at him. Don't tell me you've never thought about it before, George, ar George argued. Jerry laughed it off, changing to, the to changing to topic quickly. Jerry laughed it off, changing two topics two quickly. Topic. Quick, wait, which? Changing, changing two, two topics. Topic. Wait, wait, wait. Topic wait which quickly. two is it? T.O.? Right? T.O. Oh. Changing, changing to a different topic? Is that what the changing, changing to... I think they meant to put changing to a different topic, topic quickly, quickly, but I think or, they forgot a, a different topic. Or, or was he just trying to... Maybe he just mixed up the article and a verb, so he's just like, oh, changing the topic the, quickly? Maybe. That, that makes more sense to me. I mean that's that's kind of, that is a weird way to say it. If it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna change to it to topic change to now. topic quickly. Change to topic. <laughs> like, change uh, or, maybe, or maybe they forgot. To, maybe they're like, oh, let's change to hot topic quickly. You know, like change <laughs> oh, to yeah. hot topic. And then just the rest of the episode just takes place in like, like a, a gothic topic. environment where Lincoln Park is like, Jerry, I, I don't know, Jerry. I need I, I need I the think, Slayer T-shirt, Jerry. <laughs> I, I need really to get, I need to get my One Punch Man T-shirt, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kramer walks in. He's like, hey. I just I just met the guy I just met the guy from yeah. Lincoln Park. 
I just met the guy from Lincoln Park, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, I met the guy from Lincoln Park. <laughs> uh, I want to get a gay, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy that Kramer constantly refers to, but that we never see? Oh, Bob Sacramento. Oh, yeah, Bob, Bob Sacramento. Sacramento. Bob Sacramento. It's like, it Bob turns Bob. out he's the singer for Lincoln Park, Bob Sacramento. Oh, <laughs> he's the new singer. All right. Okay. Elaine's girlfriend was a blonde. So we never see the the, the, the <laughs> wait, top, wait, 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 we wait. never see the topic Jerry changes to. Yeah, so yeah. it just immediately Oh, it, yeah. is this their way of just going, Hey, let's go to a transition now? Yeah. And then I said, Are we just gonna go back into the you know what? Yeah. I, I'm not gonna ask questions about yeah. the plot, just So I'm guessing new them... I'm guessing new establishing shot, new bass riff. Yeah. You know. Elaine's girlfriend was a blonde. A tall hot blonde to be exact. Ooh. Jerry stared at the woman in disbelief. He wasn't sure what he was expecting, but it most certainly wasn't this. Hello, Jerry began. <laughs> oh, God. Janet, the woman, the woman replied. Have you ever been introducing yourself to someone and you're like, hi, how's it going? And they just go, Atlas! And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't do that, but whenever I get a random call from a number I, know, I don't recognize, I always pick up like, this is Dan. Like, yeah. I, like, I, like, I never say, oh, hello, nice yeah. to meet you. I was like, who is this? You know, I'm always just like, Dan speaking. I, yeah. I knew I knew a guy, though, um, whose dad, he would never introduce himself. His name was Ralph Palmer, but he never introduced himself as, like, Mr. Palmer. He'd be like, Ralph Palmer. I'm like, uh, hi, is, is is Ben? Is Ben there? I, yeah. I want to see Ben real quick. He's like, all right. You know, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. it's, it's one of those weird when you just introduce yourself by your first name immediately without any other salutation. Well, I, I can see that it's happening. It's a sign of a lack of social skills. It, 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 a it's different bit. if they go, hi, my name's Atlas Novak, and they go Ralph Palmer. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. But, but if it's just like, hi, yeah, it's like you're you're intending for like a sales call, and you're just being like, hello, yes, I'm here to sell you some solar panels right now. And then the other guy on the other line just goes, Ralph Palmer. Like, no, no it doesn't work. <laughs> Ralph Palmer. Yeah. Or like, it also makes sense if, if you're like at work and you work in a department where you just say like, I like I work in in the medical records department of a yeah. doctor's office, so you just go medical records like that, well, that, that, that. That would make sense. That makes sense. Yeah, but just like in a simple conversational based environment, you're talking, you're talking. All of a sudden, the guy just randomly comes up to you being like Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> it's just like is this Pokemon? That's, <laughs> that, that's a great way to get people to remember you immediately, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm bad never forget so that. Work. <laughs> they, they 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 just went like full blast in with their name. Like a UFC fight where they just start kicking you. <laughs> God, straight Chuck Norris. They, they, they don't even the do dog. the bouncy thing where like they jab you a little bit. It's like, uh, how's it going, sir? <laughs> no, no, he, he, no, he just takes you down to one. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the one, uh, the one frame jab. Yeah, they yeah. just, they just went. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Nick, 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 <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Jesus. Or is it like, is it, is it maybe just the person's just trying to announce like, oh snap, it, I need, I need, I need an adult, I need an adult, and the first person whose adult name comes to the mind is just that person's name being like, hi, nice to meet you, I'm, ah, no, fr Frank, Frank, <laughs> Frank, Frank, I need you here! Janet, the woman replied. Janet, Jerry agreed. They shook hands. Just then, Kramer walked in and greeted Janet with a hug. <laughs> that's so the abrupt. That's, yep. That, I'll, I'll be honest. That's a little bit out of character for Kramer. Yeah, exactly. Does he hug people? Well, so he, hug, he hugs people, but there's usually some salutation. You know, he doesn't just immediately latch onto somebody and hug them. Like it, and it, when he normally is exposed to a beautiful woman or yeah. something like that, he's just like, oh, 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 you're, oh, hey, you're very, yeah, 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 nice to meet that, you. Yeah, nice that. to meet you. You're very attractive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just that weird look of like shock and terror that like most middle schoolers feel whenever they see somebody like a supermodel walking down the street, just being. Like, oh, it's just it's spe full on spectator mode. That's what it is. That's that's how Kramer would normally yeah. respond. So he, he kind of he's, yeah. he's losing brownie points in my yeah. book for this one. I, I'm knocking him for character development. <laughs> right. Give that's that a, the, give that a C minus. Give him a C minus on that right, one. Right. Of course. Kramer. Janet exclaimed. She knows him. Jerry asked. They're. Oh shit! I retract my statement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're. Elaine began. She sighed. They're cousins. Okay then. This is happening. Uh. You're dating Kramer, Jerry laughed. Elaine rolled her eyes. Just then, George walked in. Hey, Jerry, and he turned to Janet. Who's this? He asked, <laughs> smirking playfully. 
Elaine's girlfriends, Jerry said. George awkwardly shot, uh, shook Janet's hand and sat down to reflect on his awkward failures. <laughs> <laughs> Nine seasons worth of them, Jerry. <laughs> I, can re- I can relate to that. Sitting, <laughs> reflecting on my failures. Oh, so, he, a line. so he goes handshake and then just turns around oh. and goes, All around me are Our familiar faces. faces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Why, why, that's, that's, really that's a really good line. That's a really like. Re- <laughs> and what was to the line? To reflect about all his failed experiences. It says, yeah. yeah he, he awkwardly shook Jan's hand and sat down to reflect on his awkward failures. His awkward failures. Yeah. That was powerful. Good that's job. Powerful. Oof. Yeah. That, that, I, that, that is empathetic. That that's is, what that, that is. That, that is, is a relatable. strong use of language right there. Yes. Yeah. I'm invested now. I want to know what happens. Yeah. George Costanza knew how it was with him and women. Sometimes it was like he set himself intentionally to fail. But why would he do that? It's not like he was some sort of homosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, wait, wait, what is why did we never what say is, that before this? Why, what is that line that George says? Because we're saving like, it. I, yeah. I think I'm gay or something. Yeah. How, how does George re- respond My to that? My father's gay. My father's gay. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. My father's gay. Uh, <laughs> there was that massage once, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that was its own, that's its own paragraph by the way there was that massage once yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no that that's the type of line i would gladly read aloud in class i'd be like oh this is it this is my yeah. star moment this is my oscar winning speech i had a massage there once <laughs> <laughs> he shook the thought out of his head no he wasn't gay he wasn't a gay man he couldn't be Pondering this, he didn't even notice when Elaine, Janet, and Kramer exited the apartment. You okay there, George? Jerry asked. He sounded genuinely concerned. Okay, that... What happened to no hugging, no learning? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, uh, George replied. Jerry closed the door. Do you think they're... You know, how should I know? Jerry asked. It doesn't bother you? George mused. Since you and Elaine were together, now she switched teams. I mean, Jerry Seinfeld considered. Sexuality is... <laughs> no! No! You stop that! No, you don't need to address full names. We know who the characters are at this point. Don't say Jerry Seinfeld considered. You know that. You've established this early on. The As you said earlier, Atlas, these are for people who are diehard Seinfeld fans, okay? We know who Jerry is. You don't need to slap Seinfeld on there. You either do Jerry or you do Seinfeld. You don't combine both, Yeah. all right? It kind That's of remi- extra wordage. It kind of reminds me of like when you're talking to somebody and they use your name in a sentence when you're the only two talking. Oh, dude. It drives I me nuts. I stand that. Yeah. Wait, it's like usually it's like, oh, yeah, hey, what's up, Atlas Novak? Yeah. Like that yeah. shit? Dude, Everyone does that to me all the time. It's like, oh, Dan Grove, what's going on? Hey, Dan Grove. Hey, Dan Grove. Oh, hey, Dan Grove. It's, it's, not, even, it's not even that. It's like, we're already talking. We're like we're the only two in this conversation. You know how much that annoys me, Dan? Like that. That oh, kind of thing. It okay. comes off kind of okay. used Carl's, cars, that, cars salesman-y. Th- that, that is annoying. Carl's that is annoying. Salesman. But yeah. no. Let me tell you something, Dan. <laughs> that <laughs> shit. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, right no, I get you. I get you. That's it, yeah. that, okay, that I can understand because they're trying to... I guess it's just using your name in that sort of phrasing is a way of them trying to really get their point across. Yeah. Just to make sure that this point is being directed towards you because they're trying to persuade you. Yeah. What annoys me, though, is when, like, I'll go to a party and I'll talk to people and they'll be like, hey, Dan Grove, what's going on? And be like, yeah. mother, we've been friends for, like, 15 years. Why are you still calling me by my full name? It's like, well, you know, it just, it, it sounds cool when you combine both of them. It's two syllables, so it's still easy to say. It's like, just call me Dan. Stop addressing <laughs> me in this, like, weirdly professional environment. If you need the two syllables, put Danny. Just Yeah, put Danny. Yeah. Just don't use Daniel or else I will actually slap you. Like, Seriously? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so dude, I can't stand Daniel, man. Your name has Timber, Dan. Dan. Yeah. That's why I say the whole thing, Dan Grove. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Grove. That's that's see. Sounds... That's oh, it's, better... actually, it's actually one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, being called da- Dan Grove and being called oh great. Daniel. Now now everyone's gonna know that you're yeah. biggest pet peeve. Oh, now crap. Why did I say what this was on the, the nickname you came up with him before this? Before we started recording? Oh, Skinny Tall Legend. That's Skinny Tall saying. Legend. Just call him Skinny Tall I'm Legend. I'm fine for with that. Yeah. yeah, call me. Call me. Yeah. A... STL, call me yeah, STL. STL. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I, my, then my nickname is referred to in the similar way of a font format. It's great. <laughs> I think. I think it's STL. STL, STL Tall Legend Atlantica. 12 points. Yeah. yeah. STL. Shout time. outs to anybody who understands that obscure ass joke. STL Times New Roman. Yeah. <laughs> it's a better pet peeve than my. I, I hate paying for parking. That's my, my pet peeve. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm used to it yeah. at this point. I think. 
I, that's I've accepted so it. unusual. <laughs> is it? No, I mean, like, I'll go to insane lengths to... Uh, yeah, you will. Like, okay, you tell right, stories. Right. Yeah, so, uh, example, uh, you know how when you go to, like, a mall, you get the ticket at the beginning, and you put it in at the end and pay, right? I realize that if you follow the car in front of you, the arm never comes down because it's a motion sensor. So, I have, like, just a graveyard of those tickets in my glove compartments, and about... <laughs> That was, that you, was you, know it's, you know, you know, it's slapping is just yeah. like, how have I never thought of this before? You know, it's good when the producer starts slapping the table. That's the, <laughs> yeah, the super oh, producer, man. Mike. No, the, uh, <laughs> the, so two years ago, my mom for a birthday present, she like took my keys and got my car cleaned and threw those tickets out because she was like cleaning out the inside of the car. I'm like, why? That was my trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jerry Seinfeld considered. Sir- okay. We're back to the story. We're now. back in it. We're back, we're back in, in this, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Jerry, so Jerry's that, contemplating yeah. his sexuality. Jerry Seinfeld yeah. is contemplating. Oh, yeah. That God was so it. smooth. That thank was, you. That sexuality is... is fluid. She can be with men, just and, like that transition. Yes, exactly. And now have no attraction to them at all. I'm okay with it if she's happy. Fluid, huh? George said. So that means if you sleep with with man. <laughs> Not men. Oh, but they'll, they'll make fun. Just, maybe just, they, just maybe they don't have the. Maybe yeah. they don't know, uh, know how to speak uh, English. Maybe sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah or it's a, or it's a typo. A and E yeah, are yeah. fairly close on a keyboard. Right. Are, right. are they? That if no. you sleep with man, that doesn't make you gay forever. It can change. Well, not exactly. Jerry began. So if we were to perse- oh, there, if okay. we were to per se see what it was like, it wouldn't make us homosexuals. Nick, you have a bit where you talk about George getting a sex chain surgery. Yes, I do. And he did it on stage at the comedy store last night. That's all I can think of this entire <laughs> conversation. I'm a T, Jerry. I'm a T. I thought you said you were going to be a B, George. No, I'm a T, Jerry. <laughs> you can't do that, George. Why not? You got to work your way up to the T. First, you start with the L, see if you like it, then the B, and then the G. And then the T. You can't just go right to T. There's <laughs> paperwork, George. I think he's going to try the paperwork. I think he's going to try G and see if he wants to to keep going on the yeah. scale and eventually get to that premise. Jerry yeah. paused, looked at George George's earnest expression. Genuinely and sincerely, he did love George deep down. He used his humor to... <laughs> <laughs> He used his humor to show it. (laughs) However, teasing the shorter man instead of confessing his feelings. Oh my god. Remember what I said about analyzing the sexual... We're getting to the end game. (laughs) Avengers, watch yourself. We're getting to the real end game. (laughs) (laughs) Like, or like just the bass riff with, with with like my heart will go on or something. <laughs> burm, 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 yeah. George Jerry sighed, but George was insistent. What? George asked. You're the one who said it, not me. He paused. Now that I think about it, I don't think a man has ever hit on me. Is there something wrong? Like, do I not release the aura? <laughs> <laughs> do I not do release I... the aura? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Dan, like you're you're a great Santa comedian, but I gotta tell you, you weren't releasing the aura enough. Like I, I wasn't know. feeling it. You're right. We I, should just say that to every comic with like, "How was my set?" You're like, you weren't releasing the aura. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? 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 What aura are you talking about? Uh, the, the aura, dude. It's uh, you weren't releasing it, man. Or just start Not making up arbitrary rules. It, it was. It wasn't pink enough. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. It was all. <laughs> are, we, are, we get, are we getting into chakra colors now? It's like, yeah, your aura, man. It was. It was all orange, and for that room, it's 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 really dark. So you should have been exuding more of like a yellow or a white. You know, something along those lines. Your dude. aura was a chihuahua. That's a big problem on stage. You need to be a Doberman at least. Yeah. See, now you're starting to sound like the that scene from Inglorious Bastards where Hans Landa is saying like what the SS is like in, as an animal and then what Jews are like as an animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. good scene. That, 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 that scene's super fucked up. Oh, and geez. by the way, I'm sure we'll get into I wasn't Bastards. really, I wasn't really getting the right aura from you. <laughs> like that? Like Yeah, exactly. You were coming off like... A chihuahua. <laughs> Native to the American land. And if you and if you would agree that you were not being a say a German shepherd, you must be one. 
they're under the floorboards, aren't they? Atata. Au revoir. Your chihuahua. For the trade. Your chihuahuas are underneath the floorboards, aren't they? <laughs> the aura? Jerry asked. You're. You are an adorable man, George. Adorable? Jerry, uh, George asked, blushing. So, you know, if you were gay, sure I would. George stood. Fine! Jerry stood. Fine! Fine! George repeated. He took Jerry's face in his hands and kissed him. <gasps> Jerry was flustered before he mustered out a final fine. Then George left. Wait. Oh. Yeah. That's it? That's all no, we No, no, no. We're not done. That's all we get from we're that not, scene? No, no, no. <gasps> it's Nick's turn now. <laughs> There's so much tension built up after that. And we're, get it, and we're getting Nick, who's actually good at these voices, to oh, do it. Oh, stop. Stop, Alex. Yes. You're doing great. Oh, pfft. No, no. I want to I harp on that ending right there. That That's a cliffhanger, man. Yeah. Like, what, what happens? Is Jerry going to reciprocate his love to George? Or what's... What's next? What's on the horizons? Guys? Find it, find out next time on the Seinfeld Chronicles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that was, that was the original name for the show, was, right? That was the anime yeah. like ending. Yeah. To yeah. The- <laughs> I was gonna say like which which anime ending was that even? I'm trying no, all um, the anime endings. All, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know the rest I can't, of it. I cannot wait until we get episodes in here with uh, like about anime. It's uh, going to be like a movie I, was, fest, I honestly thought that's what we're going to be doing this first episode to be wait, totally... It was, no, it was anime stuff. No, Dan, no. we're professionals. No, no, no. no, no it's start with anime. It, it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. Not, it's not anime, but it, it's close to Yaoi. Close. Okay. okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. The next afternoon, Jerry was still thinking about the kiss. Then... Kramer walked in, eating a large watermelon. Enter Kramer. Hey, Jerry. Kramer said. Hey, Kramer. Wait, 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 wait. Was the wait. pop, was that also written in? No, I just added that Okay, okay. That, that, that was yeah. a good uh, artistic turn. Yes. Right there. It was a good, yeah. good acting yeah. choice. You're doing yeah. that. Like that. Hey, Kramer. He paused. Never kissed another man before? Well, sure, Kramer said. He then failed to elaborate. Well? Jerry asked. I mean, it's not like I'm straight. Wait, what? Jerry asked. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, this would be one of those things where if they said Kramer was gay, I'd be like, eh, yeah, I could see it. Yeah. But is he is he gay or is he is he bi? Well, did he, did, all the girls, he with all the said, girls he, did he do the paperwork for the G? Or is it... Oh uh, no, he he never does the paperwork. Oh yeah, of course. Kramer yeah, never Kramer. does. Yeah. Um, wait, would you? I mean, I mean, I lean towards women, but uh, I go. <laughs> Is, please that's, tell me that's, that's not it. That's damn, not it. it. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> that's not, damn it! <laughs> Nick, I love your ad libbing, but yeah. I want to give this writer some credit here yeah. for some of these yeah. moments. <laughs> I want to give Tobey a fo- Tobey a skeleton. <laughs> well, what are you then? Jerry asked. You can like men and women? I like I like more than men and women. Jerry. I like more than men and women, Jerry. I think okay, that's a No comma, just more no, than men and women. I, no, Jerry. that's what it says. I like more than men and women, Jerry. <laughs> okay. More wait, more I than like, men than women? He likes more than Wait. Yeah, seriously. Are I we like, turning this into a ma- it, it, I, I think he says Kramer's I, interested I, in, yeah. in men or greater than stroke. his interest in women. Is that I, I didn't did, I didn't have a stroke, I swear. I like, think I, he means I'm not I think I'm not he means I, I'm uh, he likes more types of people than men and women. Right. Okay. That's my guess. Okay. Okay. Um I like more than men and women, Jerry. I love everything in between. Yeah. I'm a pan. Pan? Pansexual. Ah That okay. does not surprise me. That huh? that that is totally applicable to Kramer's personality. Pence? I think no, Kr- yeah. Kramer is the Roger from American Dad. Yeah, that show. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's already a unique enough person as possible, and the majority of pansexuals I've met in my life also share similar personality traits to that want of independence. Right. Yeah. That, that's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that's that's my one statement. I'll just leave it on that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Jerry said, "Pansexual." Maybe I also like men and women. This is all hypothetical, of course. Yes, 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 Kramer said. You're on the Kinsey scale. <laughs> what about bisexual? What about bisexual, Jerry asked. Whatever's comfortable, whatever's comfortable for you, man, Kramer said, patting his back and, and exiting. Just then, George entered. 
I'm gay, Jerry! I'm a gay man! <laughs> if you are, well then, I suppose I'm a both man. Uh, a bi man. Wait, is this Kramer or Jerry talking? Well, you said Kramer left, so yes. I thought oh, it was okay, Jerry. Right, yeah, yeah. Then I'm a, I'm a bi man. I, I will never uh, I will I will never uh, forgive myself for character mistakes. <laughs> um, Don't. That's fine. You are. George. No, asked. I feel guilty about making character mistakes. I wanted to just stew in this right, self right. every time he fucks up. Wait, is this before or after the toxic envelopes? Because I get the feeling George would go completely under. Yeah, That's a good question. question. Very good question. Yeah, like if after Susan dies, he's like, all right, you know what? If she can do it, I can do it too. I think, and then I I honestly like to think that this is after. Susan died. So, so this is like somewhere between seasons like eight and nine. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. the thing at this point is that like I think just because George, he felt so liberated yeah. by Susan's death and not the fact that he no longer had to marry her, he was probably just like, you know, I feel like this is going to be a new era of George. You know, a brand new experience. I feel like nice. there's something inside me I can finally just let out in the open. I feel like I've been trapped <laughs> trapped inside this closet, Jerry. I think now, it's just, now it comes more time just for me to be like, this is it. I I think I, I think I'm ready to try men now, Jerry. I think I'm ready to try men. This is this Nothing isn't just the wrong. summer of George, Jerry. This, this is, is the life of George. This is the life of George. <laughs> <laughs> the summer's the summer of George. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we're almost done here. Um, you are? George asked, raising an eyebrow. Jerry caressed the peculiar face of George Costanza. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> End scene. And then. So, Jerry and George went on a double date with Janet and Elaine. It seems we are all a lot more queer than I originally thought, Jerry said. Elaine and Janet laughed. I guess they'll go back, though, though, right? George asked. They all gave him a look. Just kidding! You know, George, you know, George, Jerry said, I think this is going to be bad for my comedy. How am I supposed to make observational humor about dating when I like you so much? Oh, you'll find a way, Jerry. Elaine laughed. And they did. They all got married and Kramer f- officiated each oh, wedding. <laughs> fuck you. And that's the end of... Fuck you. No. Kiss no. Me, Kiss Me by no, no. Toby a Skeleton. Okay. Toby a Skeleton. Toby a Skeleton. Okay. You failed to recognize the... The shrinkage? Well, actually, yeah, I'm actually a little bit surprised there was Shrink- no shrinkage. Yeah. Actually, no, there wasn't as much like overt sexuality going yeah. on in this. I mean, it was a lot of, like, sexual overtones and interest and love, but there was never, like, and then George whipped out his cock and was like, this time I don't got shrinkage this time, Jerry. I don't <laughs> have shrinkage this time. But, I'm your latex salesman. <laughs> no, but what I was going to say is that Tobea Fox Skeleton. failed... Sorry, fuck. You know what it is? I got Undertale on the brain. That's what it is. Right, right, of is. course. Yeah. Um, no one outside of this room knows what that means. Uh... But Tobey, a skeleton, failed to realize the heart of every Seinfeld writer, which is no lessons, no happy endings. Mm. Yeah. That was something... That, that was some Leave it to Beaver shit at the end. Yeah, that was that was so wholeheartedly like... Like, I could hear like a clarinet or something, fa- like, happy playing in the background. And then they all got married. No, you fucked up. If Larry David read that ending, he'd be like, oh, yeah, I could believe this actually happening in this episode. And then immediately he just reads can, that. And then... Can you do a real Larry David impression? Oh, I'm not God. putting you on a spot or anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's he's kind of like a he's Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Uh, no, I I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of how I can... <laughs> just, yeah. I'll have one of those yeah. vanilla bullshit I'll try it, things, I'll try it, so. I'll try it. Um, give me a second here. It's think like Bernie Sanders. Let's see. I'm just trying to think of like a moment from Curb that I could do. I'll have one of those vanilla bullshit things? I'll, I'll have one of those vanilla bullshit things. I, yeah, I'll just have one of the bullshit things. That's all I need. That's I'll, good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty good. good. Really? That's good. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. I, uh, well, I didn't mean to grind into a whole thing. Oh, no, no, it's okay. No, no, I, you, 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 no, I was it's just saying, like, it's I, fine. I, I don't yeah. know, it's one of those where it's like, I've tried to mess around with that voice, but it's, it's hard. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll start working. I don't know, there's a couple of voices. I'm trying to work on a Pacino. Yeah. Shit, it's, it's okay. Ooh. Yeah. Pacino. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So how would you punch up this story? Aside from yeah. that ending, Jesus Christ. I mean, I cut that entire ending out. Yeah. Right, period. <laughs> well, because it, it, it was its own little paragraph. You could just <laughs> yeah, you could, yeah, you could literally end. just yeah. kill that. Um, what I'd also do is that I wouldn't have. What you need to do at the ending with that is that you have to have 
somebody fuck up that romantic moment between George and Jerry at the end. Right. It's either George comes to the, George has to come to the realization that oh wait maybe I'm not actually gay. Well, yeah, because it didn't take. Yeah, because yeah. it didn't take. I think I think that that was actually a smart move right there. Where if, if George was like you know I don't think I, that would take, and then Jerry, but then Jerry's trying to act on it. That would create a great comedic moment because now that even though Jerry's had this realization, George is like actually wait no I'm good thanks uh, this is this isn't great. And so then you get this weird sort of chase going on between George and Jerry. Jerry trying to get George to kiss him back. And then George runs out, and Jerry's just like, Oh, I just wanted George to kiss me, Kramer. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> um, I wanted to give him my magic loogie. Ah. You, also, you also didn't have a, a Newman moment in there. Right. Which, if, if this was going to be taking place after Susan's death, you have to have a Newman inspiration. Right. Yeah, because they kind of brought in Newman as like a... Was Newman even in there? I don't think no, he was. wasn't. Yeah. No, don't I, was even just, I, I, yeah. I think I was just doing the voice. For, I forget. I forget. Yeah. No, no. We're, you were talking about the roasters episode. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Right, Newman, right, but Newman yeah. wasn't in the story itself. So that was a failure. Yeah. There also wasn't a side. There wasn't really much of a side story. I would have loved to see more information about Elaine and Janet. Yeah. Then there was nothing there. There's outside of the fact that oh, Janet is Kramer's cousin. And then that nothing is ever built off of that. I would love to see the interaction going on between her and Janet. Yeah. And then just Janet starting to exude more and more Kramerisms. Oh, you know? that would be good. Because the moment... Because it's is, the cousins and exactly. they're brought up again. Yeah. And then the moment that Elaine realizes, oh, wait, you're Kramer's cousin? cousin? And then she starts seeing it more and more and more and more. Yeah. You know, and like, I like to have there be more of a built up into the introduction of Janet. Yeah. Also, well. the, 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 the... I don't the, have more jokes. Yeah. I just have more like... This is how you would try and write the episode. Oh yeah, better. sure. No, I mean like one of the, one of the, the the things I'm hoping to do with this podcast is I like, just punch it up a little at yeah. the end. <laughs> so. I, mean, I, I like to think that the author. I'm not a joke like, guy, man. Yeah. I'm more of a story guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I would just love the idea of somebody like finding this podcast in their light. So not only did they find my my you know my content, they read it for all to see. And just made fun of it. Oh, that's a, that's those are some nice notes they gave at the end. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that like it, it, hopefully this gets popular and then people are like, yeah, man, it'll. They they, they gave me tips on writing. Also, this story fails the Bechdel test like yeah. super hard. How how old was that story, by the way? I like, didn't do have, you know when it was published. It didn't have a uh, timestamp, so I'm not really? sure. Yeah, that's insane. How did you find it? Just I literally Seinfeld? just googled Seinfeld fan fiction and started looking at. Don't the Don't tell people how you find the fan fictions. Our whole operation is gonna crumble down the shambles. It'll crumble, Jerry. Crumble. Yeah. Like a Twix, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. I I work in IT and. Yeah. Every like as my day job, yeah, and practically ninety five percent of my job is literally just looking up answers on Google. I know, that's right? What, that's yeah, what, that's yeah. all. I, that's all I do. Yeah. That's all I do when I'm at work. I'm just like, all right. I see. I see a, an email coming from somebody being like, "Hey Dan, um, how come this whole pro th project thing is, is isn't working? Why why can't it be like, like, oh yeah, let me just figure this out real quick, and then all of a sudden I just you can hear clickety clack on the keyboard, yeah, like in the background. So it's just like, oh wait, Dan's probably working some computer magic. It's like, <laughs> nope, I'm just looking at the first response I see in Google. So, like, at every hacking scene in a movie, everyone thinks they're, like, writing code on the fly. They're oh, hell no, like, no. Put, they're, putting they're, that shit they're, they're Google, they're Yeah, they're yeah. on ask.com. They're yeah. on, like, Yahoo yeah. search engine. You yeah. know, they're, that's what they're looking for. They're just like, Beep. how do I do this? How do I hack into the Fort Knox mainframe? And then yeah. there's that first response because somebody's already figured out the answer for them. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. All yeah. right, so... That about does it for this here episode of Bad Reading. The very first one. Yes, we did yeah, it. Yeah, we Hooray. did it. Good, yeah. good. This is this is nice. Thank this, you again for having me on. No as problem. Your, as your you premier are, guest. You were a pleasure. Amazing. Dan, where can people find you out there if they want to uh, find more of your shitty fan fiction? Or uh, well, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> Jeez, okay, I get it. Just because I do some voices on stage, that that constitutes fan fiction atlas. Okay, I, li I like to okay. think. Okay, mathematically, one of the no. guests we have on this show will have their own shitty fan fiction. No, at some point. Yeah. No, I no, I I, no. I used to when I was like eight, seventeen, eighteen. I wrote Pokemon fan fiction and all that sort of stuff. Good shit. Yeah, not, nothing, a, nothing like erotic. Yeah. Just being like, Danny is a Pokemon trainer straight out of Verdant Tough Town. Yeah. You know, it's no. it's it's yeah. gonna be the next Me Too movement. Like you write fan fiction twenty years ago and people bring it back up. <laughs> You're like I uh, swear I was I was a different person when I wrote that. Like I, uh, look, look, I just I really liked Pokemon. All right. No, like, dude. Okay, I, so there's this video of the I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's this video called Ner uh, Nerd Gets Revenge on Gamer Bully, and if you look it up, it's this video that has uh, 
it, it, this video has like 5 million views on it and in the background you can see me just losing my mind throughout the entirety of it like you can clearly and I'm so afraid of like that video resurfacing and people finding me but anyways if you want to see me on social media my name is Dan Grove Comedy underscore available on Twitter Instagram Facebook all that fun jazz and if you're in the LA area and you want to come by the comedy store uh, Monday October 21st at 8pm you can uh, catch me in the belly room unfortunately so. for you this episode will come out after that so well yeah so i i hope the people just gonna nix yeah, that one yeah. man forget that <laughs> just know that i ha- i am going to <laughs> perform there and we'll have performed there yeah. and you oh, missed it and this, it's and you your fault it. you, yeah. you jackass <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. um but yeah that's that's where you can find me all around and uh yeah no this, this has been a blast guys uh thank you for having yeah. me this is this is good nick how about you I had fun. This is tons. No, where tons can of fun. people find oh, you? Oh, I get this. <laughs> yeah, uh, my my Instagram is millennial comic. Um, I uh, perform all over LA, but that's my main um, social media I use. Um, I do. I put up impressions there. Um, yeah, just uh, find me on Millennial Comic or look me up, N-I-C-K-C-A-I-N. That is my full name. Yeah, or uh, doodle, I would doodle the word Millennial beforehand because I've misspelled it several times. Uh, M I N. <laughs> wait, M I L L E N I E A L. Yeah, yeah, uh, and then you can find me at Atlas Novak N O V A C K. Uh, that's on Twitter or Instagram. Or if you're into the trading card game Card Fight Vanguard, I'm part of the Nexus Core YouTube channel, like the Peace Core, and uh, the Nexus at Night podcast. Because I'm a dork. Oh so. wait, are we playing gamer <laughs> handles? Because if you want to find me and add me on PSN and play Marvel vs. Capcom three, you can find me at Grover Loves three five nine. You better fucking be Phoenix, right? That's the best character. No, I play Phoenix. Damn it, she's the best character. Son of a bitch. All right, <laughs> I play the cheap stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. And keep writing.